Luke, uh, you just finished F3 in Catalonia and you won the, the sprint race there ahead of Luke Browning and you're eighth in the championship. It's, it looks a good season so far. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, still, a, still a few areas here and there to work on, especially qualifying. Uh, more on my side, not quite maximising it. But I think considering we're picking up points where we can uh, in the sprint races, obviously need to start a bit higher up. But, uh, but yeah, not a bad weekend as you said in Barcelona uh, with a sprint race win. And it looked, uh, it looked a good fight with Browning in Catalonia. And did you take any extra satisfaction from beating him after your time together in British F4? I think we both know how each other race from, yeah, he said, years in, years in British F4 together. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things, obviously, it was Barcelona, quite hard to overtake. So uh, he had a couple of, of shots at it, but it was good, very, good fun racing. Um, it's always nice to, uh, to have a battle, especially for the win. Um, so yeah, I guess because it was quite a close race, it made it feel a bit better, but, uh, but not because it was him. And what was it, what was it like on the Pirelli tyres? Did, did your experience on Pirellis and GB3 help you? Yeah, to a degree. Um, the F3 tyres are a bit different. They have quite a high degradation curve compared to, let's say, the ones using GB3. Uh, also, the temperatures are a lot higher. I'm pretty sure if GB3 raced in Europe, we'd have a similar, similar issue. Um, but yeah, the general feeling of the tyre over one lap is quite similar. Um, just the race management is quite a big step in F3. And how much of a confidence boost is it being backed by Williams? Yeah, massive. Obviously, my second year of Williams now. Um, great to be under their wing, obviously, as an academy driver. Uh, provided, of course, I do do my job, then it guarantees that there's a spot there waiting for me. So, uh, yeah, it's nice being involved with them, learning as much as I can from what they do in F1 and also how much they can help me in F3. And do you have any plans with the team later this year? Are you going to go to any Grand Prix or, or do any testing? Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I think that's all up in the air. Um, be nice to do a rookie's test if I'm given the chance. Um, and in terms of Grand Prix attendance, again, it's up to them really. Um, but I'm sure last year I went to, to one or two, so I'm sure it'll be similar this year. And what's it like managing the, the step up to F3 and with the extra downforce and the power as well? Yeah, it's not too bad. Actually, the car feels relatively similar to drive to a GP3 car in terms of inputs. Obviously, everything's happening a bit faster. Um, but yeah, surprisingly, over one lap, it's, it's quite similar. I think the GP3 car is quite relevant in that sense. In the race, it changes a bit, a bit more complexity to it. But, uh, but over one lap, it feels quite similar. And of course, Red Bull Ring uh, next time. What are you expecting there? And do you, have you done any sim work yet to prepare? Yeah, heading off to Premier actually in two days' time for our pre-event, let's say, preparation. Uh, yeah, Red Bull Ring will be fun. The track you can overtake at, which is always nice, three DRS zones. So, um, yeah, pretty sure the racing will be quite exciting. Uh, on the soft tyres as well, so a um, bit unknown how the degradation is going to be. So, yeah, looking forward to it. And after a run of a few street circuits early in the season, how good is it to have a consecutive run of permanent tracks? Yeah, it's quite nice. Obviously, the street circuits had a bit of... Uh, bit of variance, Melbourne it kind of fell my way, I felt quite confident, Monaco not so much. Um, so yeah, I think it's nice for the whole grid really to be on tracks we, we know and also tracks F3 have been to before, a bit more relevant data and uh, it can have a bit more of a normal weekend. And what was it like going to Australia earlier this year and how important is it to engage that crowd on that side of the world? Yeah, Australia was really cool, really nice place, uh, could happily live there, it wasn't so far away. Uh, obviously a bit of a trek, but the track was really cool, the whole weekend um, was really good atmosphere. Um, and yeah, and the track provided quite good racing, um, a bit chaotic, but uh, it's not a bad thing. And with Red Bull Ring, what, what are you expecting there? Do you think it'll be easy to pass or just sort of DRS trains and uh, similar to other circuits? Uh, we'll see. Uh, this year our soft tyres are slightly different to, to previous years, so there's a bit more degradation, especially on the rear axle. So. Yeah, if that, if that comes into play, I think overtaking will be quite easy if you're on the good side of it, let's say. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's a bit of a DRS train track, unfortunately. Thanks so much. No worries. Great to meet you. you and uh, all the